and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Ben Kirk, who's been a coach uh, at the soccer centre. But he started off as a player with Whittington from uh, seven years old. He's played all the way through the young youth age groups and then got to about 15 and decided he wanted to uh, specialise in, in doing some coaching. Uh, ben goes that extra mile with the kids. He works with them individually and not always, always as, as a team. He works on the individual skills, making better players. Uh, so the team works together really well. Uh, he did his junior football leadership course with the FA at that point uh, and uh, enrolled himself on the Staffordshire FA Young Coach Development Programme. He's uh, progressed from there to do a level one when he was 16 years old. And uh, since then he's also done uh, FA level one in futsal. He's done a youth award module one. And, and he's also done a mentoring course. Um, he, his involvement with the club has been uh, as a coach, as I say, at the, at the soccer centre where we work with kids from four to 11 years old. But he's also run uh, teams. So he's done that under age, uh, under eight and uh, under nine age group. Ben has been an incredible coach for Whittington for as long as he's been here, which is about six, six years now. And the reason he's been nominated is for the amount of effort that he put, puts in to his own team. The fact that he's running a, running a team at the age of 18, I think that's an achievement in itself. He also works on the FA's mashup programme, which is an after school programme for teenagers. And uh, he's, uh, he's running two sessions a week on that, uh, on that particular programme. Um, so he's uh, very actively involved uh, right, across, right across the club and within the wider footballing community. And the, the way he does it is absolutely brilliant. He doesn't get, he, his, his way with the kids is absolutely fantastic and his footballing, football coaching is just a different class. It really is. Uh, he probably works with, his squad of, uh, of under nines were probably about 24 uh, children. Uh, he's probably got the same here when he comes down on a Saturday. Uh, and uh, he's something like 40 to 45 teenagers across his two mashup sessions. So uh, there's a lot of influence there at different age groups. Um, and I think that's one of the things that he really enjoys, um, being able to uh, work with children of all sorts of uh, different ages and abilities. Certainly one of his strengths. Um, and um, hopefully that's something we're going to be able to develop further in the future as he progresses through the club. And I, I'm, I'm really happy that I am part of him. Co being able to coach with him is just a, a pleasure for me because I learned so much off him. He's, he's such an intelligent coach. He, he provides me with so much knowledge about what I do, how I can improve my own coaching. This morning he came and said, is there anything you can add to it? How can you improve this part or anything like that? He's, ju he's just a brilliant coach and I'm really happy that he's here with here being able to help me coach as well. We're all like a second family to each other, but like Jess is one of the main leaders and she's just always she's good laugh and she helps us like, like, like directs us where to go. She's a friend as well as a coach and it's like nice to have her around. She works with all her age but she like she gets to know everyone around the club. Uh, she's uh, one of the mentors for the girls. Uh, she's obviously uh, one of the coaches as well. She's just, she's kind and she helps us and she's like really encouraging and she just helps us with whatever we want and she's a friend like I said. Like, she only shouts, like, she doesn't shout at us, but she only like helps us like when it's necessary and like she always directs us where to go and she's always really helpful. She's uh, somebody that can go and talk to. Uh, if, if they don't feel that they go and talk to the coach directly, uh, just having that female presence around the girls team I think is important. To sum her up really, um, she's had an operation uh, recently on her knee and uh, the day after she came out of hospital, she was there turning up for the girls at a cup final. The day after she'd not even come round properly for the operation. So she, was I think she just seems to get on with them so well. Um, it's very... Um, Easy these days for uh, young people, I think, or young adults, um, to get distracted by other things. And she's got, she's very down to earth, and she's, uh, she's very driven. She does everything for the kids for us. Just her ability to um, relate to the children. Really. I'd say thank you for everything she's done. She's probably the most kind person I know. If I ever had any worries or anything, Jess is always the first person I'd go to. 
she's probably the most helpful person like she always helps us and tells us what to do and what not to do and like but in a positive way thanks for always helping us and being just a kind person as well yeah, good luck for the future. You're doing a brilliant job. And uh, see you soon, Jeff. <laughs> Dan has been um, coaching with the Academy and the Development Centre for about four years now, helping out. Um, he's currently one of the um, one of the coaches uh, for the Development Centre. He does uh, the fundamental um, session. Uh, we split it into three. Um, sessions with three coaches manning each one, an SAQ, a ball mastery and a, a fundamental game um, and Dan takes care of that because uh, he passed his level one um, the week after he was 16. Um, when we took over two years ago um, he came to, to myself and Stuart and said uh, can I still keep coming which we nearly kissed him because nobody nobody really wanted to, to help out he was the one of the, one of the big things and uh, we just said to him straight away um, if, if this is what you want to do we, we, we want to support you and get you on your very, level uh, as soon as possible. active in in the coaching sort of uh, mindset he want he wants to do the youth mods because he knows it's the the right thing to do to develop him, himself himself better I mean on average we get sort of fluctuates between about 18 and 24, 26 players per week. Yeah, we've made up about seven teams. Seven, I mean, probably going to be close seven or eight teams this year. It's harder to coach these age group yeah. because of the, obviously their maturity. Um, so I think Dan's getting some fantastic experience of, of a really challenging age group, and you know he's he's, he's done really well. He's, he's dealing with three-year-olds, four-year-olds, fives, sixes, sevens. Because we've had autis autistic, autistic kids. Autistic kids. Yeah. So, you know, he's, he's, it's, been, it's been tough for him. At the moment, he's doing his, his A-levels in PE. Um, and I think he's looking to push it on further. But when he take, takes to university, I think he's, he's looking at being a, a PE teacher. He's a player. He, he came up through from being their age to playing to the under-16s. And he started helping the the under 16s coach in the academy, and like I say, he doesn't need to be here. He wants to be here, and yeah, I mean, it's I mean, Jeff started it, and you know, I suppose, it, I mean, cause you've got to understand, he's only 17, he's still a young man. Yeah, you know, for him to, so it it would be easy for him to think, oh well, it's, these blokes are doing it, and it's their session. But now he, he doesn't. He, he likes, he, he'll sort of, he'll. he'll want to get involved in the warm-ups he'll innovate new warm-ups mm -hmm. he tries different things yeah yeah he tries different things he, he comes with a lesson plan for his own third of that session and he if so, he sees know, something that he doesn't uh, think's right he's the he'll he'll come straight up to one of us and he'll say that's wrong I, I'm, I'm not happy with that and we'll, we'll we'll deal with it yeah. but you know he, he's, he's 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 a he's a very good coach he's got he's he's got more than enough to to push on, and we really want him to push on. Just the fact that he's uh, he's he's made a really good start. He's very enthusiastic. Uh, he's very obviously committed to coaching. Uh, he needs to keep that up, you know. And the, I, I see nothing that doesn't suggest to me that he won't keep that up. Um, so just keep going the way you're going. I'm sure you'll end up, you know, doing something that you love and, and to to a, to a good standard. I say. Um Desperate, you're already a great coach. Um, you can be what you want to be, yeah. uh, and the kids love you anyway. Crack on. <laughs>